Text animation is a fun and engaging way to capture people's attention when they watch videos. Have you ever noticed how sometimes words seem to pop up onto the screen or smoothly slide in and out? That's text animation. Today we're going to explore how you can create these cool effects using DaVinci Resolve in literally a minute. Don't worry if you're new to this, I'll guide you step by step on how to do this. Alright, so let's start with the basics. DaVinci Resolve is a video editing software that many professionals use to create all sorts of amazing videos, from short films to YouTube vlogs. Within DaVinci Resolve, Resolve, there's a feature called kinetic typography, which is basically just a fancy way of saying moving text or animation. Before we dive into the details, let me explain a bit about frames per second, also known as FPS. Think of FPS as the number of pictures shown in one second of video. Imagine flipping through a flipbook. The faster you flip, the smoother the animation looks. From my projects and clients, I usually work with videos that have 60 frames per second but you also might be familiar with 30 or 24 frames per second. Now, let's dive right into creating text animations. Make sure you have DaVinci Resolve open and follow along. First, what we need to do is you guys might be thinking is just head over to titles and add in some text. But no, to make sure this is smooth as possible, we're gonna drag in a fusion composition, just like that into our timeline. And then right click on it and click open in fusion page. Now once you're here, click control space and search up background and just double click it and click add onto your timeline and then attach the gray square onto your yellow triangle of media out one. Now what we're gonna wanna do is make sure you have the background selected so as you can see the red outline outside of the background, click control space again and drag in a merge node. This one, double click, oops, click on it and click add. Once that's in, click on the background again and as you see the alpha key, it's at one right now, we wanna drag it all the way to zero so the background is clear. Now make sure you have none of the nodes selected so make sure none of the nodes have a red outline on it click control space again and search up text text plus like this click on add drag it on top of the merge and then drag the gray square onto the merge make sure it's connected to the green node make sure you have the text node selected as i said the red highlighted outline click control space again and drag in a transform node transform xf click on add now we're ready all we need to do is click on our text node and type in any text you want I'll just type in sample. You can change the color of it here. I'll change it to red. Size for this example, just so you guys can see it more clearly. I'll make the size like that. I won't add any outlines or anything. I'll keep it nice and simple. Now what we're gonna wanna do is click our transform node and this is where we're gonna be doing all the keyframes or animations. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure you're at zero frames. As you can see the red marker which is your playback is all the way at zero what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically create in a pop-in effect so it's gonna start from the middle and it's gonna zoom out basically so for this we're gonna just need the size we're gonna keyframe the size at the start of the video change the size to zero go I'm gonna go 10 frames into the video or actually I'll go 20 frames into the video and just change the size back to one now as you can see if you play it back it's a nice and simple animation but this isn't as smooth as we want it to be. One thing we could add to make it more smoother is motion blur. So to do this, make sure you're on the transform node. Beside controls, you'll see settings. Make sure you click on settings, go down to motion blur, and quality, you can keep it at two, but make sure you change the shutter angle all the way to 360. Now to make it as smooth as possible, what we're gonna do is use a spline tool located at the top right of our screen. We're gonna click the spline tool, check the transform one, zoom out by clicking control and our scroll wheel until you can see both of these purple squares we're gonna drag and highlight both of it and then we're gonna click the smooth out effect as you can see it made it more smooth with these curves but what we're gonna do is make it a little bit more smooth this is what i personally like to do we're gonna drag this square all the way over make sure it's aligned like that it doesn't have to be exact but around there and then this one, drag it a little bit back, just like that. And now if we play it back, watch what happens. As you can see, it's much more smoother than what we had before. And yeah, now if this animation is a little bit too slow for you, what you can do is go to the keyframes tab right beside spline. This is a little bit more complicated, but you should get used to it. You're going to want to drag this marker a little bit more in, like zoom in around there. Once you can see both of this, just zoom out a little bit as I said before. Scroll down until you see your transform one node right over here. Make sure you have it selected. 
you can zoom in a little bit more and make sure you can see both of the keyframes so this white is the start of the keyframe and this other white is the end of the keyframe okay so let's say we want it to go a little bit faster right now it's at 20 let's move it down to 15 so right over there and then just hold on the white and just drag it right there now if we play it back it's a little bit more faster and it's also pretty smooth that's it for this smooth text tutorial hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to experiment with different animations and settings to see what looks best for your video and i'll see you guys in the next one